welcome to my youtube channel again in this video we'll see how can we implement uh, the whatsapp like contact uh, feature in our, our application so i had created a playlist now uh, to to uh, like uh, created a chat app uh, using react native and firebase uh, there i go to command uh, like uh, uh, how can we add a contact like feature uh, in our application as we use in whatsapp uh, it's simply like if you go to our uh, contact tab on whatsapp uh, there you, you will able to see it fetch all of the contacts from your uh, phone book and uh, then it will check like uh, which number has installed the application or not if anyone has installed then uh, you can directly move to chat screen and uh, uh, if uh, anyone has not installed uh, the application so it it so the invite button there so first of all uh, I'm gonna just create uh, the service for uh, this so I'm gonna just create the API I had create a blank folder called server and inside it just uh, open the terminal I'm gonna use uh, npm in it iPhone white uh, there I go to my package JSON file and I'm gonna use npmi mongoose also I'm gonna use uh, the express and uh, express iPhone validator it will take uh, some time So let's uh, 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 downloading the package or installing the packets so let's uh, do work with our folder structure so first of all I'm gonna uh, have a file called uh, server.js then after I'm gonna have uh, the f another folder for configuration that will hold uh, like uh, our database URL or uh, uh, TV string you can say and then after I'm gonna have uh, models as I'm gonna use uh, MongoDB for this so I'm gonna use models and the next thing I'm gonna use uh, the API so for this I'm gonna create uh, another folder called uh, routes and inside routes I'm gonna create uh, another folder called uh, API and inside API I'm gonna create a file called uh, user.js I'm gonna install some dev dependency as well so called npmi hyphen d node mon so uh, let's all uh, let's work with our server.js file inside it like first of all I'm gonna use const uh, express it will uh, from uh, require express I had already installed that uh, then after I'm gonna use uh, the app over here const uh, app then I'm going to use express there and uh, thereafter I'm gonna use uh, the port here so I'm gonna create another variable const uh, and it will ask to the environment like process dot uh, env dot port if available otherwise I'm gonna pass 5000 for now so let's uh, app dot uh, listen it should be listen inside it I am to pass first param as the port and uh, second parameter it should be an callback function and I'm gonna use here like console dot log server started server started that's all that's it so if I'm gonna use node mon and server right saying it's not find node mon okay our server has been started here 
and uh, okay we have uh, I don't think so why it's uh, saying not one if uh, I'm gonna uh, move to package JSON and inside script if I gonna write uh, server and you're gonna pass here node mon space server if I'm gonna save this let's see if it'll, it will work or not and can run server yeah there you can see our server has been started so node mon is working fine so uh, let's uh, I am gonna just uh, terminate the server for now so let's uh, do some further configuration so first of all like inside the config folder i'm going to use uh, my default json file here <coughs> inside it um, i'm going to pass uh, our uh, mongo uri it should be mongo uri and it should be something like i think you can pass any name and second one I'm gonna pass JWT secret as I'm gonna use a JSON web token and inside it I'm gonna just pass a, a simple a string here for now you can pass any secret whatever you want for now I'm gonna pass a, any a simple string here my secret token okay uh, now next thing like uh, for the Mongo URI I just need uh, my database URL so I had already created a collection here and uh, if you don't know how to create the cluster and uh, how uh, on the MongoDB at last uh, I had created a video on it I'll uh, provide a link in the description so just watch that video and uh, then start uh, start this video from the here so let's uh, move to our auth collection and uh, there is a uh, there we go we have cluster here now if I'm gonna go to the connect taking uh, some time like uh, due to internet connectivity I think if I'm gonna refresh it once again till it's loading uh, like uh, my internet connectivity is not uh, very good so let's till it's loading like uh, do further things like uh, inside uh, config I have uh, another file called uh, db.js uh, and uh, that's fine yeah, it has been loaded I think <coughs> inside db.js uh, let's create const uh, mongoose and uh, inside it <coughs> I to pass the name of uh, package I had installed called the mongoose here and next thing I'm gonna pass const config and uh, it should be a require inside it I have to pass config here and uh, then I have to pass const db and uh, the, uh, for db I should get uh, the uh, URI that I'll get from uh, default JSON so I'm gonna use here config dot uh, get and inside it I have to pass the key name here mongo URI it should be mongo URI so that's all now uh, I think uh, it has been loaded so let's connect to application you have to just copy this string here and just uh, I'm gonna minimize this window just to maximize our uh, 
VS Code screen. Inside default JSON, uh, I'm gonna pass uh, Mongo URI. And uh, you had to do one thing, <coughs> like uh, uh, I have DB user, and in place of uh, this one password, I to pass the password here, and uh, I have the same password here called uh, DB user and uh, there I have to pass the name of DB and uh, I have its name is called uh, test so do all thing properly otherwise it will not uh, gonna work so I think uh, I, uh, if I had made something wrong yeah there I have to pass test here yeah that's fine now uh, if I move to uh, db.js uh, there I have created db and uh, config db uh, then after I have to connect with our database so const uh, uh, connect db it should be an uh, async method and inside it I'm gonna pass uh, try catch block here like uh, if there is any error occur so I'm gonna just print the uh, message from the error so console uh, dot log inside it I'm gonna pass uh, error I'm getting error dot uh, message and just uh, exit the process so I'm gonna use process dot exit inside it I'm gonna pass one now inside the uh, try block, I'm gonna use await mongoose dot uh, connect. Inside it, I have to pass my mongo URI, so I'm gonna just pass a DB here, and after that, I'm gonna pass uh, use uh, new URL parser. Inside it, I'm gonna pass true and uh, use. Uh, unified topology pass it through as well and uh, use uh, created in index I'm gonna pass it through and uh, use uh, find and modify if you are using any updation so I'm gonna pass it to the false so uh, we good to go I think uh, I had done everything which need to set up our connection so I'm gonna use uh, mongoose dot uh, exports uh, I'm sorry it should be uh, module dot uh, exports and inside it I'm gonna pass the connect TV save this one just uh, move to your server dot uh, JS file and uh, here I need to uh, get DB so I'm gonna use const uh, connect DB inside it I'm gonna pass uh, require there I have to pass the path of config slash DB and uh, here I have to pass uh, connect DB here and just call this one and uh, I want to do one more thing like uh, if uh, it's uh, executed successfully then uh, I'm gonna print a message to the console.log and inside it I'm gonna pass uh, db connected semicolon here save this one that's npm run server oops I'm I'm getting some error here it's saying internal module throw error cannot find module config let's see our package JSON if I had installed it or not no uh, like I forget to install config let uh, me install it first so npm I config it will gonna install the package
will take him some time clear the terminal and let's uh, start the server again you can see uh, our DB has been connected successfully so uh, let's work with uh, the API so uh, let's move to our models folder inside it I'm gonna create a new file called uh, user dot uh, JS inside it I'm gonna <coughs> create schema for uh, <coughs> our user so I'm gonna create const uh, mongoose is equal to require inside it I'm gonna pass mongoose and there I'm gonna use const uh, user schema is equal to new mongoose dot uh, schema inside it I have to pass uh, <coughs> the key I'm gonna use uh, like first one I'm gonna use mobile and uh, they can uh, send the type to it so I'm gonna use uh, for the type it should be a number then after uh, I'm gonna use uh, like uh, require and I'm gonna use for true next thing uh, like uh, in this uh, in this uh, series or like in this video I'm gonna just uh, um, uh, save user with uh, mobile number and password I'm gonna uh, I'm not gonna to generate uh, OTP like whatsapp so uh, my basic purpose it uh, is so you how can we implement contact like uh, uh, feature in, in our application like uh, we can justify which contact has uh, installed the application or which has not so uh, for uh, I'm gonna pass set it to unique true that's all and uh, next thing I'm gonna use password you can uh, use uh, OTP if you want so and I'm gonna use here type uh, string type should be string here and uh, required true here as well save this one now I have to export it so I'm gonna use uh, module dot exports is equal to uh, user mongoose uh, dot uh, model and inside it I have to pass uh, user and uh, reference of uh, user schema here so that's all we had uh, done our uh, schema now let's uh, move to the API and inside the API I think I have file uh, user.js so let's uh, start working with it so inside it first of all uh, I need a method like uh, through which I can uh, uh, register our user to the application so before that I'm gonna just uh, uh, write some middleware to in our server.js so let's uh, make your comment middleware and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use app uh, dot use. First one, I'm going to use express uh, dot uh, URL encoded, and inside it, I'm going to pass extended to the false. And next one, I'm going to use uh, app dot use. Inside it, I'm going to pass express dot uh, JSON. So that's all now uh, start working with the API part. So I need here const uh, express. It should uh, require express. 
and the const uh, router I'm gonna create a router so express dot uh, router it should be a method now let's uh, work with the uh, express validator so I'm gonna use uh, make some destructuring here so first one is uh, check and second one is uh, validation result validation result and inside it I'm gonna pass uh, require express validator also I'm gonna use a const uh, JWT or uh, you can uh, skip this one if uh, you are not uh, authenticate your API so uh, here I'm gonna use uh, JSON web token let me see if I had installed the package or not I think uh, I haven't so I'm gonna use npmi json web token mm, let's uh, move to the API and uh, there should be json web uh, token yeah it's showing the hint so that's fine now uh, I need uh, my user schema here so I'm gonna use const user and require that I have to give the path uh, of uh, the user inside the models so that's all now we get to go let's uh, here I'm gonna use a uh, register user and uh, there I'm gonna use a uh, router dot uh, it should be an post request and uh, here I'm, I'm gonna just uh, backslash it and uh, they have to pass uh, <coughs> the array for express val validator I'll work it uh, with it later so, and here I'm gonna pass an async function for request and response it should be an error function now let's uh, uh, first work with uh, the express validator first of all um, I'm gonna use uh, check for uh, the mobile and uh, I'm gonna give the message please uh, please enter a valid number and for check I'm gonna use two it should be dot is mobile phone next check uh, I have to make for uh, the password and for password I'm gonna just not gonna do uh, must thing I'm just uh, validating its length only and uh, here I'm gonna give the message please enter a password with uh, six or more uh, characters should be as there and uh, they have to pass is length inside it I'm gonna pass uh, min and it should be 6 eight. so that's all now inside uh, the method async uh, I'm gonna use uh, first of all I'm gonna use for uh, const uh, errors if uh, there are any errors uh, then I'm going to use validation result inside it. I'm going to pass the request here directly. And uh, you can validate for empty field field as well here. Like if not uh, errors dot uh, empty is empty and it is a method as well. So here I'm going to just uh, return and uh, response uh, dot rest dot uh, status inside it I can just simply pass uh, 400 dot JSON and inside JSON I can pass uh, errors and it should be array errors dot uh, 
array so that's all let me check if uh, everything is fine or not uh, that should be fine I think and uh, after comma there should be a sync function yeah it should be fine like and if there are not any error then uh, I have to const uh, mobile and password just to grab mobile and password from uh, the request you know to use request dot uh, body save this and uh, I have to use try catch block here first one uh, like uh, I have to check like uh, if uh, everything is fine first of all I have to check like if user exist or not so if uh, user exist in our database or not so let uh, user inside it have to pass uh, await dot space uh, user dot uh, find one and inside find one I have to pass the name of the field like uh, in our database I'm using the mobile to store uh, the mobile number so I have to uh, let, just look on the mobile whether it's uh, exist on our database or not and uh, there I have to check like if user if user exist then I have to return response dot uh, status I have to pass here 400 dot uh, json inside json I'm gonna pass uh, errors and inside errors as uh, errors are array so I'm gonna pass here message and it simply say like user already exist save this and uh, if uh, user is not exist then I have to save the user so uh, for this I'm gonna just create new user uh, user is equal to new user let's create uh, and inside it I have to pass the field okay I have to pass the field first one is mobile and second one to password now I have to do the like await uh, save the user so it should be user dot uh, save and just call this one and uh, if it's saved successfully then uh, I have to pass the JSON web token so const uh, payload inside it I'm gonna pa pass an uh, user ID like user colon ID is equal to uh, something like uh, colon user ID so that's all and uh, now I have to generate the JSON web token so I'm, I'm gonna use uh, JWT dot uh, sign inside it first uh, I have to pass the payload if I want to save any info with this then uh, then I have to pass uh, the config and uh, let's uh, grab config here as well so const uh, config is equal to require config second param I have to pass uh, the secret so I'm gonna use config dot uh, get and inside it I have to pass my JWT secret so I'm gonna use here JWT secret and uh, next one I have to pass uh, expire in the time limit so expires I'm gonna just pass uh, 36 uh, thousand for now or uh, 
uh, you can pass uh, three lakh six thousand something okay or uh, then I have to uh, like look on if uh, it's uh, successfully share or if any error occur so just uh, I'm gonna use here if there are any error or uh, if I got the token so I'm gonna use an arrow function for this and inside it I'm, I'm gonna just pass like if any error then uh, simply throw the error else res dot uh, json is it why it's not uh, showing me the hint okay let's uh, skip this one okay. uh, inside it uh, rest dot json i to pass uh, the token here so i'm going to just pass token so that's all and in case of uh, any error occur then i to just console log uh, the error dot uh, message and just uh, send the response dot uh, json and uh, here i have to pass 500 dot uh, send there you can send uh, any like server error so that's all let's uh, start uh, our uh, server once and see if uh, everything is working fine or not and uh, before that uh, don't forget to import this in uh, our server.js and let me check if I had export it or not so I have to export it module dot uh, exports is equal to the router so just move to the server.js and uh, inside it I have to use uh, just below of it here i'm going to use uh, uh, api routes and i'm going to use app dot uh, use inside it i'm going to pass here api slash uh, users and here i'm going to use uh, require just uh, give uh, the path here here is uh, route slash uh, api slash user save this one let's see will it work or not and can run server now server has been started let's wait till it connecting uh, to our database Like if you are uh, using uh, good internet connectivity then uh, it will uh, it will not gonna take uh, much time for not connect server mongo did it last scroll okay let me see let me whitelist the ip and uh, I think uh, IP has been refreshed. Let me whitelist and we'll start to connect database again. So I had whitelist uh, my IP and uh, server has been uh, started here and DB also connected. So um, let's see will it work or not. So I just uh, open the postman. I already saved this number. Let's uh, first of all uh, work with the validation like if I'm gonna pass any number with uh, two digit there you can see uh, I got the error please enter a valid number and uh, if I'm gonna save the number let's hold it uh, here of uh, 999 99 I don't know uh, who is the owner of uh, this number let me check how much is it it container uh, I, I'm just uh, uh, 
entering some random number so for anyone who belong to this number please uh, ignore this one I'm just using it uh, for testing um, I do not know whether its number exists or not so uh, like um, inside mobile I, I'm just passing uh, a number here and if I click on send then you can see I got uh, a JWT here JSON web token here and uh, let's uh, move to our database see if we uh, record uh, enter here or not and uh, let's refresh the document there you can see I have uh, two number there first one is this and second one this now let's uh, work with uh, the API uh, another API that will check uh, uh, which number has uh, installed the application so uh, like a strategy is very simple uh, I just uh, check like uh, uh, if I go to a list of number like whenever you're gonna fetch the number from our phone book it, it will get array of uh, numbers and then I just simply uh, send to the API it will check which number is exist in our database and which is not if number is exist in our database it mean it uh, has installed the application if you uh, see the whatsapp like whenever you're gonna enter a number register a new account and uh, it uh, it gonna uh, create a flag yeah this number is exist in database and whenever you're gonna un uninstall the application it just uh, uh, uninstall uh, just remove that number or delete that specific number uh, to from the database as well I think uh, it is uh, uh, take uh, uh, two things as well like uh, I think it's uh, it check the device ID as well like uh, uh, the number belong to this specific device so uh, let's uh, work with uh, for uh, check whether number exists or not so check which number has uh, installed application So there I'm going to use let uh, user list. For now, uh, like uh, I'm just uh, uh, giving it dummy, and uh, later on, uh, like uh, I'll uh, implement uh, with dynamically, like whenever we start work with the application. So here I'm going to just use router dot. Uh, post method I think uh, we are just uh, uh, sending list of data and uh, then we are getting some response I think uh, uh, post method should be there and uh, there I'm gonna just uh, make it endpoint like for exist and uh, after that I'm gonna use async inside it to request response and uh, inside it first one I'm gonna just uh, create a dummy array let mobiles and it will be something I'm gonna use here mobile key and uh, do something here another mobile like uh, till now we have in database I have two mobile and here I'm gonna give the value I think uh, it was six times nine and four times o zero and it was uh, nine eight seven six five four three two one zero both of these okay. i expect this thing from the request at wait to do uh from uh, take uh, mobiles from request for now I'm taking it dummy and uh, let's give one more like both of our existing database and in between of them here I'm gonna just pass another one as dummy and there I'm gonna use let's give it uh, 998877665 and five five Oop, uh, 10 letters are there yeah 
Uh, now I need to here. Let's uh, create a try catch block here, and uh, then I need to like uh, if uh, exist or not. So first of all, I'm gonna create a promise. Promises. Uh, as uh, we gonna map uh, throughout all of the array and check uh, each user individually exist or not so uh, I'm gonna use await with this and as we know await return the promise so I'm gonna grab all of uh, the promise inside the promises and I'm gonna use mobiles dot uh, map and uh, inside the map I'm gonna just create an uh, async function it should be an arrow function I'm gonna use item here and inside it I'm gonna use let uh, mobile and it is uh, it will be item dot uh, mobile and uh, they have to check let uh, user and await user dot uh, find one inside it I'm gonna pass mobile now it will check if user exist or not so if I go to the user do something here else do something and if I go to the user then uh, what I I'm going to do like uh, I'm gonna use user list dot uh, unzipped I'm gonna just uh, add the number uh, at the add number at the like uh, top uh, of the array or you can say left left of the array so uh, if uh, user list dot unzipped and inside it I'm gonna pass uh, the mobile first key is mobile and it should be mobile or uh, same key is there as we are getting from the item and the second flag I'm gonna use like uh, exist is true you can use sort hand here as well like directly use mobile here in place so for assign mobile to the mobile Similarly, I do same thing uh, in else block, but uh, in place of exist, I'm gonna pass the flag of false. Like, uh, if uh, it's uh, not exist, then uh, just push. It will gonna add uh, the item to the end of the array. And after do all of things, um, I need to. Or. Uh, I think let me check where is closing yeah now there I need to handle all of the promises so I'm gonna use uh, promise dot uh, all inside it I'm gonna pass uh, promises and uh, there I'm gonna use dot uh, then do something and it will an arrow function and uh, inside it I'm gonna just pass uh, rest dot uh, JSON and uh, inside JSON I'm gonna pass uh, users and inside users I'm gonna pass list of user I got here and uh, this for the then and if there are any error like I'm gonna just catch here error and simply I'm gonna use a uh, rest dot uh, JSON or uh, I can simply like uh, rest dot status 500 then I'm gonna just uh, simply send uh, the server error Same. server error yeah same thing uh, I'm gonna do inside uh, the uh, this catch block also I'm gonna do one more thing 
like you will send the error and uh, for the developer end I'm gonna console dot low the error to check like uh, which kind of error we are getting so here I'm gonna use console dot log error here as well save this one and uh, let's uh, move to the postman and uh, here I have to uh, check the API this was uh, I done for further testing so just to copy this URL to the postman and uh, if I'm gonna send the request it's saying uh, can't post API user exist let me check uh, endpoint should be exist there should be uh, S here as well there you can see uh, I insert the number uh, between uh, these there we go here this number is not exist in database and if I check from uh, the response uh, there I got the number like uh, uh, first is true then it's true then uh, it is false so it's uh, and uh, add at the end of the array now uh, on the behalf of uh, this key like exist we can just uh, simply uh, show our list like uh, if a uh, number exists to our database this means uh, the app has been installed uh, well with particular number and we can simply jump to the chat screen and if we go to the like uh, if number not exist to the database then we can simply uh, no app has not uh, installed the application and we can simply uh, show the invite button there so that's all for this video we had successfully uh, set up the server and please uh, like the video if you enjoy it and if you are new then subscribe the channel will work uh, further in upcoming videos